These are the top 10 shortcuts in Lightroom that will drastically improve your editing workflow. And they will not only save you a bunch of time while you're editing, but they will make editing easier and your photography will simply benefit from it. And I've ranked them from awesome to awesomest, so make sure you stick around to find out what is the number one shortcut in Lightroom. A great way of sorting out your favorite photos from a shoot is by using the shortcut P. So when you're going through your photos, just press P to flag a photo. And afterwards you can filter on the flagged photos and start editing your favorites. An important part of almost any editing process is cropping the image and making sure that the horizons are straight. Pressing the R key gets you automatically in the crop mode. And you can then enable the straighten tool by pressing and holding command on a Mac or control on a PC. And you can then see this little ruler symbol appear. You can then draw a line along the horizon and Lightroom will automatically straighten your image. Still in crop mode, pressing X will change the photo orientation from horizontal to vertical or vice versa. Command or Control U will automatically balance your exposure. That means that all the sliders for tone, so the exposure slider, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks will automatically be adjusted to what Lightroom thinks are the best settings for that photo. And this is a huge time saver if you're going through a lot of photos and you just want to see what you're working with or you just want a quick base edit to start off from. Press Y to see a side-by-side -side comparison of your edit and your original photo. This is really handy to see if maybe you've pushed your edit a little bit too far. Pressing J will enable clipping so you can easily check if you're not blowing out any highlights or crushing any shadows. And crushed shadows or parts of your image that are too dark will appear blue, whereas blown out highlights or parts of your image that are too bright will appear red. Pressing F will show your photo in full screen mode and that's a really convenient way to view your photo in large and without any distractions. Another great way for viewing your photos without distractions is by pressing tab which will hide both side panels. Or you can press shift tab which will hide both side panels as well as the film strip at the bottom. The difference between full screen mode and this is that you can still access the panels by hovering your mouse to the extreme left or right of your screen and the side panels will appear. The next shortcut is meant to be used with multiple images. So let's select two or more images and then press N. This toggles the display of all the chosen images. And this is great for comparing the look of multiple images or seeing if they fit well together as a set. And while you have this display toggled, you can still add or remove more images. So just hold command or control and click on an image. Okay, so the number one shortcut in Lightroom requires a bit more explaining, but holy heck, you're really gonna love this one. So whenever I was working on a group of photos and I wanted to apply the same settings to all of those photos, what I would do is I would select the one photo and then select all the other photos, hit the sync button, select all the settings that I wanted to synchronize and they would get synchronized. And I see a lot of people do it like this, but there's a much easier way to copy paste settings from a photo. So select the photo where you want to copy the settings from and then press command shift C and this copy settings window will open. You could here obviously select all the settings you want to copy and press enter. Then select all the images that you want to paste your settings onto and then press command shift V. And I think this is so much better than using the sync button because for example, if there's another photo where I want to apply the same settings to, all I have to do is select that photo, hit command shift V and those settings will get applied. I can even go to another folder, select the photo there and hit command shift V and the same settings will get applied. So I don't always have to go and select that original photo before I can synchronize or copy paste any settings. So there you go, 10 Lightroom shortcuts that I think will be a serious game changer for your editing workflow. Let me know in the comments if you were already familiar with some of these shortcuts or what shortcuts you really can't live without. Anyway, I hope you found these Lightroom shortcuts helpful. And if you did, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.